you got the latest Tesla software update, the holiday update that everybody's talking about, whether it's good or bad, full self-drive or not. Today we're going to be talking about the blobs whether you have the blobs or not on your screen while you're parking and how it's supposed to help you, but it kind of has everybody freaking out and they don't know what these blobs are for, especially if they haven't read about it before. So, blobs or not on today's video. All right, let's hop inside the uh, 2023 Tesla Model 3 and take a look, just had the software update and we are going to take a look at these new features that are on board this machine parking assist upgrade is what we're looking at and you can see because this one is the uh, newer model and because it does not have the sensors on the outside of the car it's using tesla vision park assist is now what it's called displays a high fidelity 3d representation of the world around your vehicle i call it blobs <laughs> i mean look at that uh, it looks really, really good here in the release notes. In the real world, we're going to take a look. It basically looks like blobs. And it's supposed to, uh, it's designed to help you with uh, parking and seeing objects around you, uh, cars and curbs and all kinds of other things. But in reality, it just looks like a mess. So let's take a look at what this new uh, car, this new Tesla, offers in terms of these features compared to the uh, the older ones with the um, the sensors on board. All right, so we're gonna put this thing into gear and we're in the garage. So let's take a look at what it sees. Oh my, look at that already. There's the blobs I'm talking about. It just, I don't know, it looks unfinished. Like, I hope there's an update coming soon that's gonna clean this up and make it look better. Now, there is a car next to us in the garage. You can see it right there. And there is a car in the driveway, which is my car right here. But, I mean, compared to what we're used to seeing before, uh, you can see my car there. All right, so we're going to pull out of the garage here, and you can already see that it is way less refined, way less, I don't know, uh, finished, <laughs> fine-tuned. I don't know what you want to call it, but I hope there's more to come. I hope this isn't the final version of what we're seeing. So uh, that's, that's leaving the garage. You can see there on the right here, there's my car. Uh, there's still a car up up ahead uh, in the driveway. Park is just degraded. I think it's because it's super sunny right here on the right-hand side. Let's take this for a drive and see what we see. Okay, so looking at it while driving, this looks kind of like before. That's kind of good. I, I mean, that's, that's a good thing. It just seems to be the parking assist that is affected. So everything else seems to be better. Let's, uh, let's continue on our drive and see what we see. There's a car coming up on our right here, parked. And it didn't even, didn't even see that, that's weird. Big giant SUV and it uh, completely missed it. Obviously the feature does say park assist and we are currently driving. So I'm not anticipating any changes in this regard. I mean, here we could see stop signs and cones over there and all the normal things that uh, you'd come to expect driving a Tesla. It's just, I think the, the parking features have changed into these blobs or it, it kind of looks like an ultrasound of a uterus to be, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, so I think we're gonna see most of these changes pulling into a garage and out of a garage or in a parking spot that sort of thing. So right away, what I think Tesla thinks is parking is basically low speed, because you can see here I'm zero miles an hour, I'm in drive, and you can see here to my right there is a uh, sidewalk, and that's what the sidewalk is representing on the, represented on the screen there, right here. And the yellow, I think, is telling me that I'm you know kind of close to the curb, it's getting more yellow, that's good, I like that, that's a cool feature. That definitely is worth the blobs, I think, it's getting even more yellow. There is a car ahead. Let's see what it does with that. There it is. Okay, so there's a car ahead. That's good. It's seeing that. And that car is clearly close to the curb here. So in that regard, that's a cool feature that I'm going to have to check and see how my USS version of the software sees a curb. 
and compare it with that. So that's pretty cool. All right, so walking up to our uh, 2023 Model 3 here, you can tell right away there are no circles on the bumper, which would indicate it has USS. You'll see that on my car in just a second. It, of course, has the uh, tow hook eye uh, access port right there, but nothing else on the bumper in terms of circles, so there's no sensors on board this car. It is using all the cameras instead. Taking a look at the back bumper, you're gonna see also no circles, no sensors. So that's how you can tell if your car has it or it doesn't. All right, so walking up to my Model 3, this is a 2019 model, and these are the little circles that I was telling you about that shows that it does have the sensors on board this car. So there's two on the, the left, two on the right. Right there you can see it pretty clear. Then we'll go to the back of the car. And so that's how you can tell the difference if your car has the sensors or not. So here's the back bumper, circle, 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 and circle. So four on the front, four on the back. That's how you can tell. And you don't even need to worry about the, um, the year model, make, whatever. That's how you're going to be able to tell if your car has the sensors or if it's using the onboard cameras. All right, putting it in gear, we're back to our curb situation where I love this yellow highlight and showing exactly how close you are to a curb. And then, of course, this is a sidewalk here. And then as we get closer to this car ahead of us that you can see right there, let's see what it shows us there. Pretty sure it's going to be like a, you know, on my car with the sensors, it shows how many inches away a object is and I'm not seeing that right now I'm about to hit this car so don't go by the representation representation on the screen it's not showing any inches or how far away we are it's just I mean you could tell I'm on top of this car right now so uh, keep that in mind when you're new using this new feature all right as we're pulling away it does see the car it does see a giant blob of sidewalk and then after we get up to a certain speed, it goes back to showing the normal cars, which is kind of cool. So let me go back. There's a car that wants to speed by me. So I'm gonna go over here on the curb as we slow down. And there goes the speeding car. And that looked normal on the screen. So that's cool. We're stopped and there are no blobs. So, hmm, I'm not sure what's going on there. Let's take off again. There is a Hummer on the left side of the screen. Is it uh, gonna show that? It should, but I don't think it is. Nope, didn't show that. So it is definitely missing some things. It is catching some other things. So I think definitely needs some refinement in the code. So you can see it. I mean, it's showing all the normal things on a regular drive that we'd come to expect. We're coming up on some stop signs, lines in the road look good. All those things the camera is picking up. We've got the stop signs. Now those are yellow pylons. It's picking them up as cones, which, okay, that's fine. But uh, no blobs under normal driving conditions, that's for sure. Even gets the speed limit sign correct. So the camera definitely does a good job with most things. It's just these, uh, the parking sensors or these, this new parking feature, it um, is showing a lot of blobs. Did I mention blobs? <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. It just looks like great a, a great out mess for sure. All right, so we're going at low speed, heading into the neighborhood. It's seeing all the cars. It's seeing all the trash cans. That's good. So I'm not sure how it knows whether to switch into parking mode or not. Because I'm, I'm going nine miles an hour. When does it switch over? Four miles an hour. All right, well, I'm going to pull into the driveway here, see what it sees on my car. There's my car. You can see it in the background there. Yeah, it still sees a car. That's good. All right, well, let's pull it into the garage and see some more blobs because that's what you're here for, right? So this is where it should start kicking in. Pulling into the garage. There we go. Blobs are back. So is it like one mile an hour maybe it kicks in? No, now it sees a car properly. The blobs have disappeared. Pulling into the garage slowly. So it's only sometimes. It's not even um, consistent with the blob show. There we go. More blobs and yellow on either side in terms of how close we are to things. Now on mine with the sensors, it does show inches. It might even show feet, but we're going to do some more stuff with my car. Okay, it told me to stop. Lots of red ahead. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, but there you go. We've got uh, a wall ahead and we had a car next to us. So there you go, parking in a garage with the blobs. And just how close was I in the garage? Well, not really too close, although it was beeping and asking me to stop. Uh, big red blob in front. Actually, that's, you know, what, two and a half, three feet. So that tells you exactly how accurate it is. All right, so I'm gonna pull closer to this garage door and you're gonna see exactly what my car shows. No blobs. Is it gonna show anything on the screen representing how close I am? Yep, here we go, it just changed. And we've got a little yellow and we're at 31 inches, 30 inches. So that's actually a little more accurate. Let's hop outside the car and see exactly if that is 30 inches or 31 inches. All right, not so sure that's 30 inches. Let's see, that's what, two over two feet? Yeah, that's pretty close actually. Closer than the blobs was, that's for sure. So you can see here on my 2019 Model 3, uh, it's showing actual cars. I'm getting close to cars right here. You can see them on the outside there, and you can see them here on the screen. Uh, no blobs, no weird uterus looking things on the screen. It's, you know, actual cars, actual sizes of cars, um, and it's, you know, this is the way it should be. I'm not exactly sure what Tesla was thinking on that, but um, look here, I'm gonna go head on to this car and see what it's gonna do. And actually it's not showing anything, that's weird. I'm about to hit this car and nothing. Oh, now it's showing up uh, with the uh, orange and red there. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and back up and not hit this car showing a trash can over here where there's actually a wall and two red pylons, which it thinks are cones, but still way, way better than blobs. So you can see here, I'm in a turning lane, uh, three wide turning lane, and we've got a little couple of uh, red indicators showing that there's a curb there. There are cars next to me. It just looks uh, a little cleaner on the older model Teslas. And you can see here I'm driving next to a curb. I'm in uh, traffic and it's got the parentheses, the yellow parentheses, like it always has been since I got this car when you're uh, near a curb. Coming up on a curb again, just so you see the difference right here. There you go, there's the yellow parentheses telling me that I'm pretty close to it. Uh, this is all within traffic as well. All right, so we're gonna pull into my garage and show you the difference with the sensors on board the car. You can see our uh, Tesla Model Y is right there, and that is represented on the screen properly. And we're gonna pull into the garage and see all the different beeps and boops and no blobs, as you can see right now. Low speed, heading into the garage. It's giving us um, inches, by the way, front and back, 14 inches. I'm not sure what that's showing because there's nothing up ahead. 30 inches on the back to the Model Y here. And as we get closer in, I gotta move over a little bit. And you can see it's giving us all kinds of uh, boops and warnings and inches and yellow and red parentheses around the car, but no blobs. All right, so that's the same point that the blue 23 Model 3 stopped us at. I'm stopping in the same exact spot. It's not giving me an in inches though. Let me put it back in gear and see what happens. Nope, still says stop. So it didn't give me an in inches up ahead, but we'll take a look exactly what that means when it's telling me to stop, how much room there is from the front bumper to whatever the uh, object is ahead of it. So there you go. There is the same exact scenario, pulling into a garage with the sensors as opposed to the uh, the new model, 2023 Model 3, without the sensors and cameras only. Yeah, I mean, that's that's fair. There's a bag right there. It doesn't know what that is. It, it's, it knows it's an object, but it wants you to stop. So what is that, about a foot, maybe less, 10 inches? So uh, that's where it was warning me to stop uh, using the sensors, which are, you know, right here. Here's a sensor right there. There you go, just a quick video about Blobs, or Tesla's new parking assist feature that was introduced in the Tesla Holiday Software Update recently. So do you like the Blobs? Do you like the older version and how that looks? 
Let us know down in the comments. Let's mix it up. Let's talk about this. I'm not so sure how I like the blobs or not. There is some good stuff in there that I wasn't aware of, like this curb situation, but there are other things that just don't look quite finished. I hope they refine this a little bit more for sure. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video. It means the world to our channel. Subscribe to the channel if you like what you're seeing here and hit the bell if you want to know the second we've got some new stuff coming out here on Tesla Tips and Trips. We'll catch you on the next video and thank you so much for watching.